Moldova is a country lying in the northeastern corner of the Balkan region of Europe. Its capital city is Chisinau, located in the south-central part of the country. Formerly known as Bessarabia, this region was an integral part of the Romanian Principality of Moldavia until 1812, when it was ceded to Russia by its suzerain, the Sultan of the Ottoman Empire. Bessarabia remained a province of the Russian Empire until after World War I, when it became a part of Greater Romania, and it reverted to Russian control in 1940-41 and again after World War II, when it was joined to a strip of formerly Ukrainian territory, the Moldavian Autonomous Soviet Socialist Republic, on the left bank of the Dniester River, Moldovan, Nistru, to form the Moldavian Soviet Socialist Republic. Upon the collapse of the Soviet Union in August 1991, this republic declared its independence and took the name Moldova. It became a member of the United Nations in 1992. Since its independence in 1991, Moldova has been beset with an array of challenges stemming from four problematic situations. First, the country has sought to establish a viable state where no tradition of self-government and sovereignty had existed before. Second, Without a local political tradition, it was difficult for Moldova to agree on a constitution and to find political leaders untainted by association with the highly centralized, authoritarian Soviet Union. Third, the transition from a controlled economy to a free market economy has been rocky. A largely agricultural economy based on state and collective farms had been developed under Soviet rule. When many of these farms were broken up and turned over to individuals after independence, considerable dislocation, loss of productivity, and allegations of corruption resulted. Finally, the economic transition was further impeded by the fact that much of the Moldovan industry was located in the separatist region of Transnistria, which had proclaimed independence from Moldova in 1990, resulting in a brief civil war. Although a ceasefire was declared in 1992, relations remain tense between Moldova and Transnistria, and Russian troops are still present in the security zone. Transnistria is also the source of much of Moldova's electricity, which has been cut off at various times. Thus, Moldova's road to nationhood has remained bumpy, from the first efforts at nation-building to the country's pursuit of peace and prosperity in the 21st century. Land. Moldova is bounded by Ukraine to the north, east, and south and by Romania to the west. The bulk of the republic lies between the great meandering Prut and Dniester rivers. Relief. Moldova lies to the east of the great arc of the Carpathian Mountains. It is underlain mostly by deep sedimentary rocks covering the southwestern portion of the ancient structural block known as the Russian, or East European, plain. Harder crystalline rocks outcrop only in the north. Its surface is a hilly plain, with an average elevation of 482 feet, 147 meters, cut by a deep network of river valleys, ravines, and gullies. The uplands of the center of the Republic, the Kadri Hills, lie at an average elevation of about 1,150 to 1,300 feet, 350 to 400 meters, and the highest point, Mount Balanesti, in the west, reaches 1,407 feet, 429 meters. These uplands are interlaced by deep, flat valleys, ravines, and landslide-scoured depressions separated by sharp ridges. Steep forested slopes account for much of the terrain. The Dniester uplands, their eastern slopes forming the high right bank of the Dniester River, border the central uplands on the east and northeast. The northern landscape of Moldova is characterized by the level plain of the Balti Steppe, 500 to 650 feet, 150 to 200 meters, in elevation, and also by uplands averaging twice this elevation, culminating in Visokea Hill, 1,053 feet, 321 meters. The northern uplands include the strikingly eroded Metabori Toltri limestone ridges, which border the Prut River. In the south, the extensive Bujak Plain is broken by numerous ravines and gullies, while, in the east, left bank Moldova includes spurs of the Volonpodolsk upland cut into by tributaries of the Dniester. Drainage. Moldova has a well-developed network of rivers and streams, all draining south to the Black Sea but only about one-tenth of these exceed six miles, 
10 kilometers, in length, and even fewer exceed 60 miles, 100 kilometers. In fact, many of these are small, shallow streams that dry up during the summer. The Dniester, the rapidly flowing main artery, is navigable almost throughout the Republic, the river becomes swollen by spring snowmelt from the Carpathians and by heavy summer rains. It does not freeze over during warmer winters. The other, smaller, main artery, the Prut, is a tributary of the Danube River, which it joins at the extreme southern tip of the country. The Islepug, Kogalnik, and other small southern rivers drain largely into the Danubian estuary in nearby Ukraine. Underground water, extensively used for the Republic's water supply, includes more than 2,000 natural springs. The terrain favors the construction of reservoirs, soils. The soils of Moldova are varied and highly fertile, with Chernozem, rich black soils, covering three-fourths of the Republic. The best developed Chernozem, fostering the growth of grain, tobacco, and sugar beets, is found in the north and in the low-lying parts of the central and Dniester uplands, as well as in the left bank regions. Soil quality diminishes southward, but grapes and sunflowers still can be grown. Brown and gray forest soils characterize the uplands, two-fifths are covered by forests, the rest by orchards, vineyards, and fields of grain. Alluvial soils characterize the floodplains, while the lower reaches of the Prut and southern river valleys have saline and marshland soils. In general, the excessive use of chemical fertilizers, pesticides, and herbicides during the Soviet period resulted in significant contamination of the soil and groundwater. Climate Moldova's climate, warm and moderately continental, is characterized by a lengthy frost-free period, a comparatively mild winter, considerable temperature fluctuations, and, in the south, extended droughts. The average annual temperature is in the mid-40s F, about 8 degrees Celsius, in the north and the low 50s F, about 10 degrees Celsius, in the south, but the July averages rise to the upper 60s and low 70s F, about 19 and 23 degrees Celsius, respectively, and the mercury seldom drops below the low 20s F, about minus 3 degrees Celsius, in January. Extreme lows near minus 30 degrees Fahrenheit, about minus 36 degrees Celsius, in the north and excessive highs near 100 degrees Fahrenheit, about 41 degrees Celsius, in the south have been recorded. Moldova receives highly variable amounts of precipitation, usually averaging about 20 inches 500 millimeters annually, with totals a little lower in the south, but these figures conceal variations that may double the quantity in some years and result in prolonged dry spells in others. Most precipitation occurs as rain in the warmer months, and heavy summer showers. Coupled with the irregular terrain, cause erosion problems and river silting. Winter snow cover is thin. Winds tend to come from either the northwest or the southeast. Plant and animal life. Northern and central Moldova is a forest zone, while a steppe belt crosses the south. There are more than 1,500 species of plants in the republic, with scenic expanses of forest, covering about 1,150 square miles, 3,000 square kilometers, of particular importance, especially in the central Kadri Hills region. The most common trees are hornbeam and oak, followed by a rich variety including linden, maple, wild pear, and wild cherry. Beech forests are found at the sources of the Ichil and Baku rivers. At the beginning of the 19th century, forests covered about one-third of the country. However, a large increase in population severely reduced the forested areas. The extensive deforestation in the 19th century has also resulted in soil erosion, wind damage, a drop in the water table, flooding, desertification, and loss of fauna. Well aware of the raft of problems caused by the loss of so much of Moldova's woodlands, authorities and scientists began lobbying for increased afforestation plans, and large-scale reforestation projects have been carried out in the Republic since the early 1990s. The state's plans initially met resistance from peasants who were fearful that their agricultural and grazing lands would be converted into less profitable forests, but by the early 21st century increased crop and livestock yields had demonstrated the program's success. Moldova's steppes originally were grass-covered, but most of them are now cultivated. Lush meadows and reed growths occur in the floodplains of the Dniester and portions of the Prut, while salt marsh grasslands flourish in the saline valleys of the Kogalnik, Ilepug, Botna, and Lower Prut. The animal life of Moldova is rich, 
despite the republic's small size. Mammals include wild boars, wolves, badgers, wildcats, ermines, martens, and polecats. Roe deer, hare, foxes, and muskrats are of commercial importance. Siberian stags, fallow deer, and spotted deer also were successively introduced and are now prevalent. There are many species of birds, both resident and migratory. The marshy lower reaches of Moldova's rivers provide sanctuary for wild geese, migratory ducks, and herons, while white-tailed sea eagles are found in the floodplain forests. The woodlark, jay, song thrush, blackbird, hawk, and long-eared owl frequent the republic's forests. Plentiful fish supplies include carp, raised in artificial reservoirs, perch, bream, ruff, and pike. People of Moldova Ethnic Groups About three-fourths of Moldova's population consists of ethnic Moldovans. There are smaller populations of Ukrainians, Russians, Gagaus, Roma, Gypsies, and Bulgarians. The Ukrainian population of Moldova, the largest minority group, is divided between those who are native to the country, their ancestors have farmed for centuries in what is now Moldova, and those who migrated to Moldova during the periods of Russian and Soviet control. The former group makes up the majority of Ukrainians in Moldova. Moldova's Russian population arrived during the periods of Russian imperial and Soviet rule, usually as civil servants and laborers. The Gagaus, a mainly rural people, have lived on the Bujak Plain since the late 18th century. The country's ethnic Bulgarians also are mainly rural and inhabit the southern districts, where they settled at the end of the 18th century. Only a small percentage of Moldovan citizens identify themselves as Roma. Languages Moldovan is designated as the country's official language in the constitution. During the Russian imperial and Soviet periods, the Moldavian language, as it was then called, was written in the Cyrillic alphabet. Soviet scholars, mainly for political reasons, insisted that this language was an independent Romance language that was distinct from Dacoromanian, see Romanian. In fact, Dacoromanian and Moldovan are virtually identical, and the differences between the two are confined to phonetics and vocabulary. In 1989 the script of the Moldovan language was changed to the Latin alphabet, thereupon began a heated debate over whether the language should be called Romanian or Moldovan. By the middle of the first decade of the 21st century, there was general agreement from both sides that Moldovan and Romanian were in fact the same language. Nevertheless, Moldovan pride in the Moldovan language is reflected in the country's national anthem, Limba Noastra, our language, and the national motto, Limba Noastra I O Comoera, our language is a treasure. Some of Moldova's ethnic communities have preserved their respective languages, but not without accommodations brought about by urbanization. Those who have been drawn to the cities, especially ethnic Moldovans, often have accepted Russian as a second language. Few, however, have abandoned their native language, and bilingualism has become the norm. The Moldovan state acknowledges and protects the right to preserve, develop, and use Romanian, Russian, Ukrainian, and any other languages spoken within the country's borders. Gagaus is the official language in the autonomous area of Gagaus, but Moldovan, Romanian, and Russian are spoken there as well. Although the Gagaus language is Turkic in origin, it was traditionally written with the Cyrillic alphabet, however. Since 1989 the Gagaus have developed a Latin script. Economy of Moldova During the communist era a diversified industry was established in Moldova, agriculture was modernized, and transport and the building industry were overhauled. Following independence, the government began the gradual transformation from a command, centrally planned, to a market economy, establishing a program to privatize many state enterprises primarily through distribution of ownership vouchers to the public. The transition has been slow and uneven because of corruption, lack of foreign investment, and other economic pressures. In the early 21st century Moldova was among the poorest countries in Europe. Thank you for watching.